So I posted the first video on Reddit and in the comments, Remi Jesus. R-M-E-I-K-L-E-J said that he didn't think he had the, the skills to build it. And then someone suggested that maybe you could use a joystick. And that got me thinking. A lot of the fun in the game comes from having a variable speed. And I think if you had a joystick and going full speed one way or the other, you would lose a lot of the, the nuance of the gameplay. But I do have a focus. Focus. <laughs> I do have a, uh, a rotary encoder. Which uh, not only can be turned, but also has a, a click. So that got me thinking that maybe a version of this game would be quite fun to play by turning and slapping a great big knob. Okay, so we have the rotary encoder hooked up to the Arduino and the LED strip and turning the knob makes the character move left and right. I added in a, a small dead zone so you can give it a has a bit of play before it actually starts moving the character. But there you go. This would be much easier if I had a bigger yeah to turn. The only problem with this though is that uh, can be quite hard to get it to stop in a in a precise location if I try and line it up with the the logo on my keyboard. Yeah, I overshot there. Overshot. It's hard. So I'm going to try something else. Okay, so I've changed the code. Um, before I had to return the encoder back to its start position to stop the player from moving, but now I've added a sort of fake inertia. So if I give it a flick, the player comes to a rest. And how fast I go is based on how quickly I flick it. Which then makes it easier for me to nudge it back to the center. So not as easy as the uh, the spring, but definitely better than a, a digital on-off input. Yeah. And if you had a rotary encoder that had a heavy mass on the end and no clicking, you'd be able to very accurately control the speed of the player and bring it to a, a complete stop instantly. Thanks for watching.